Hey boys and girls, we're going to work some more on patterns today. Let's take a look at the bears that we have up here at the top. I see two colors of bears. What color is this bear? Yellow. And this one? Purple. So I see yellow, purple. Yellow, purple. Yellow, purple. What's the pattern? pattern is yellow purple that repeats over and over and over again if I was going to go over here and do another bear at the end after my purple bear what color bear should I do let's say it again yellow purple yellow purple yellow purple yellow purple if you said yellow you were right. So I'm going to go over here and add a yellow bear. There's my little yellow bear. Okay, after yellow, what should I do? Oh, that one has a, a very long leg. Let me erase part of his long leg. Here we go. Give him a regular leg. Okay, after yellow, what color should I do next? Yellow, purple, yellow, purple, yellow, purple, yellow, purple, yellow, purple. My purple probably is not going to look exactly the same. Here's a purple bear. We have finished the pattern now. Okay. Kind of hard to draw with these pins. All right, there's my bear. Now, this is a pattern called an AB pattern because it has two parts to the pattern. It's got yellow bear, then purple bear. That's two parts that repeat over and over and over again. And so we call that an AB pattern. The yellow bear would be A, the purple bear would be B. Yellow bear is A, purple bear is B. And it just keeps going like that. A, B, A, B. Ooh, it's a rough looking B. A, B. You see that, boys and girls? Yellow bear, purple bear is an A, B pattern. Because A, B repeats over and over again. Let's look down here. Looks like a shape pattern to me. Does anyone know what the shape is? It's a triangle. So we have triangle, this is our shape this week, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle. What would come next? Oh, if you said triangle, you were right. Triangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, triangle. What's next? Rectangle. Okay. You can also say that this is an AB pattern. Take a look. The triangle would be A. The rectangle would be B. Triangle A, rectangle B, and that keeps going and going because there's two pieces that repeat over and over again, triangle, rectangle. So it's an A, B pattern. You could also describe this pattern as a color pattern. You could say it's green, orange, green, orange, green, 
orange, green, orange, green, orange. Okay, so you could describe it as a shape pattern or as a color pattern, but it's still an AB pattern. Green, orange. That's two parts that repeat over and over again, so it's an AB pattern. Now, I would like for you to get in your green bag that Miss Gibson and I gave you when you came to school, and I would like for you to take out your bears or your little animal counters I think you have. And I want you to pick two kinds. You can choose red orange, you can choose blue yellow, you can choose whatever you want. Or you could choose, you could use the little cubes, the little connecting cubes that you have and get out two colors. And I would like for you to make a pattern, an A, B pattern. And remember when you make an A, B pattern, you have two pieces that repeat over and over again. Okay, so if you chose to do your cubes, you could do blue, red, maybe, and you could make that repeat over and over again, blue, red, and you could make yours, lay yours out and make yourself an AB pattern. Okay, so you decide what counters from your green bag that you want to use, but you need two kinds. Do you need three different kinds? No, not today. Today you need two kinds to make an A, B pattern. And I would like for you to do that for your work today. All right, boys and girls, have a great day.